While America and China publicly showcase their sixth-generation fighter programs, one NATO member is quietly building something that has Pentagon analysts paying very close attention, Sweden. A nation of 10 million people, building a stealth fighter that could redefine European air power. The Flag System 2020, fully funded, rapidly advancing, operational by 2035, and almost nobody is talking about it. Sweden is usually known for creating multinational companies like Spotify and IKEA, but this NATO member is making a breakthrough that no one saw coming. Sweden's Flag System 2020 impacts NATO's future air dominance due to its development as Europe's answer to Russian aggression and the first domestically produced sixth-generation fighter outside the United States and China. Here's why this matters. On March 7, 2024, Sweden became NATO's 32nd member, ending nearly 200 years of military neutrality. Russia's invasion of Ukraine shattered Stockholm's assumptions about European security. Swedish officials realized that if Moscow could attack Ukraine, it could attack Baltic states, or even Sweden itself. The strategic calculation changed overnight. Sweden needed more than the JS-39 Gripen, an excellent fourth-generation fighter perfect for air policing but inadequate for contested airspace against Russian Su-57s or advanced integrated air defenses. They needed a sixth-generation platform, with stealth, with artificial intelligence, with loyal wingman drones. And unlike other nations pursuing sixth-generation programs through international partnerships, Sweden is building Flag System 2020 domestically through Saab, the same company that produced the legendary Gripen, the Vigan, and decades of world-class aviation technology. The Pentagon is watching, because if Sweden succeeds, it proves that smaller nations with advanced defense industries can field cutting-edge fighters without trillion-dollar budgets. Sweden's fighter program accelerated dramatically after NATO membership became a reality. For decades, Sweden maintained military non-alignment while quietly cooperating with NATO. Agreements like Partnership for Peace in 1994, host nation support agreements allow NATO forces to operate from Swedish territory. But cooperation isn't protection. Only NATO Article 5, Collective Defense, guarantees that an attack on Sweden means war with the entire alliance. Russia knows this. That's why the Kremlin issued warnings when Sweden applied for membership. Foreign Ministry statements criticized Swedish accession as harmful to Baltic regional security and threatened military technical responses. The message was clear. Sweden is now a target. NATO membership changes Sweden's defense requirements fundamentally. The country can no longer rely on homeland defense alone. As an alliance member, Sweden must contribute to collective operations across Northern Europe, the Baltic Sea, and potentially the Arctic. The Gripen isn't enough for that mission. Sweden needed something that could operate in the most contested environments against the most sophisticated threats. Enter Flag System 2020. Sweden's $36 billion defense bill introduced in October 2024 allocates massive resources to military modernization between 2024 and 2035, one of Sweden's largest defense investments in modern history. The bill prioritizes Baltic Sea security, modernizes the Gripen fleet, upgrades air defense systems and funds sixth-generation fighter development. The timeline is aggressive. Demonstrator aircraft by 2026, full operational capability by 2035. That's faster than most European programs and competitive with American timelines. And here are some shocking revelations made in the document. Stealth, AI, and drone control. The Flag System 2020 features three revolutionary capabilities that position it as a true sixth-generation platform. Advanced Stealth, Sweden's first ultra-stealth aircraft. Design renderings show a single-engine dual-wing configuration with blended wing body shape, smoothly rounded surfaces optimized for radar evasion. Two vertical tails on the back provide thrust vectoring while maintaining low observability. The external design shares similarities with China's J-20, particularly the double-wing configuration placing a smaller canard ahead of a larger main wing. This configuration adds lift and stability at lower speeds, critical for operations from Sweden's dispersed Bass-90 basing system where fighters operate from remote highways and improvised airfields. Unlike the Gripen which prioritizes affordability over absolute stealth, Flag System 2020 emphasizes survivability in high-threat environments against dangerous near-peer adversaries. Cost-effectiveness and modular design. Sweden learned hard lessons from the Gripen program about balancing capability with affordability. The Gripen succeeded globally because it delivered excellent performance at reasonable cost. Countries like Brazil, Hungary, Czech Republic, South Africa, and Thailand purchased Gripens precisely because they offered NATO interoperability without F-35 price tags. Flag System 2020 follows that philosophy, but at a higher performance tier. Saib is leveraging digital engineering techniques pioneered on recent projects including Gripen E, globalized surveillance aircraft, and T-7A trainer development, virtual design, assembly, and testing before bending metal. This approach compresses development timelines and reduces costs dramatically. 
the aircraft uses modular systems allowing rapid technology insertion. New sensors, weapons, or electronic warfare systems integrate without redesigning the entire airframe. That modularity ensures the fighter remains relevant through decades of service as threats evolve. Training and maintenance are designed for efficiency from the beginning. Sweden operates a conscript heavy personnel structure where young non-specialists handle refueling, rearming, and basic maintenance. The Flag System 2020 must be maintainable by that workforce, not just elite technicians. However, developing a high-end stealth fighter is significantly more expensive than the Gripen. Research and development costs will be substantial. The resulting aircraft will cost more per unit than Sweden typically spends on fighters. One potential solution, cost-sharing partnerships with NATO allies interested in building stealth capability from the ground up. Several European nations need sixth-generation fighters but lack domestic aerospace industries capable of independent development. Sweden could offer partnership opportunities similar to European programs like Tempest or FCAS. Russia, the motivating factor. Russia drives every decision in Sweden's fighter program. Before 2022, Swedish defense planning assumed Russia was unlikely to attack Western nations. Stockholm kept defense spending at around 1% of GDP. The military downsized dramatically. Civil defense and peacekeeping became priorities. Russia's invasion of Ukraine shattered those assumptions. Suddenly, Swedes could imagine Russia attacking Baltic states, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, all NATO members with populations smaller than Sweden's. If Russia sees the Suvalki Gap, the Polish territory between Kaliningrad and Belarus, it would cut off Baltic states from the rest of NATO. Sweden sits across the Baltic Sea. The strategic island of Gotland offers commanding views of maritime approaches. Russia has already deployed landing ships through the Great Belt Strait, probing Swedish defenses. Russia has explicitly stated it would target Sweden with drones and automated warfare systems if conflict erupted. Nuclear-capable Iskander missiles stationed in Kaliningrad, just 300 kilometers from Sweden, could potentially reach extensive areas of Swedish territory after modifications extending their 2,000-kilometer range. The threat is immediate. The timeline is urgent. That's why Sweden fast-tracked NATO membership. That's why defense spending jumped toward NATO's 2% GDP target by 2024, two years ahead of schedule. That's why the Flag System 2020 program received full funding and aggressive development timelines. Russia created this situation. Sweden is responding. Challenges in timeline. 8-30-10. Developing sixth-generation fighters is extraordinarily expensive. The US NGAD program faced cost concerns so severe that the Air Force paused development in 2024 for review. Each F-47 could cost $300 million, three times an F-35's price. Sweden's economy is smaller than America's. Defense budgets are tighter. Even with increased spending reaching 2% GDP, funding constraints could delay or scale back the program. Technological risks. Sixth generation technology pushes engineering boundaries. Adaptive cycle engines. Directed energy weapons. AI-driven sensor fusion. Hypersonic weapons integration. Any of these technologies could face development obstacles requiring years to solve. Saeb has never built a stealth fighter before. The Gripen is conventional fourth-generation design. Making the leap to sixth-generation low-observable platforms requires mastering entirely new manufacturing techniques, material science, and systems integration. Potential delays. The demonstrator aircraft expected around 2026 is ambitious. Full operational capability by 2035 is aggressive. Any technical setback could push timelines by years. Compared to other programs, America's F-47 aims for first flight by 2028, with operations starting 2029, and that's after decades of stealth fighter experience. Tempest and FCAS both face uncertain timelines with service entry potentially in the 2040s. Export limitations. Unlike the Gripen which Sweden successfully exports to multiple nations, Flag System 2020 will likely remain Swedish only or shared with very close allies. The aircraft will be too expensive for most potential customers. Indigenous technology will be too sensitive to widely export. That limits production runs, driving per unit costs higher and reducing economies of scale that make programs financially viable. Sweden ended nearly 200 years of neutrality because Russia's invasion of Ukraine made clear that neutrality no longer protects anyone. NATO membership provides collective defense, but membership also requires contributions. The Flag System 2020 is Sweden's contribution to European security. A sixth-generation stealth fighter designed specifically for Baltic and Arctic operations against Russian threats. Built by Saab, the company that produced generations of innovative fighters from the Draken to the Gripen, Funded by a government that finally recognized defense spending isn't optional when facing existential threats. 
flown by Swedish pilots who understand that air dominance determines whether democracies survive or fall to authoritarian aggression. The program faces challenges, high costs, technical risks, uncertain timelines, but Sweden is committed, and if they succeed, NATO gains a capability that fundamentally shifts the balance of power in Northern Europe. If you want to understand how European defense is evolving beyond American programs, subscribe now. We cover verified capabilities and strategic implications other channels miss. Drop a comment. Do you think Sweden can successfully field a sixth-generation fighter by 2035? What other NATO programs should we analyze? Stay informed. Stay ready. The threat is immediate. The timeline is urgent. That's why Sweden fast-tracked NATO membership. That's why defense spending jumped toward NATO's 2% GDP target by 2024, two years ahead of schedule. That's why the Flag System 2020 program received full funding and aggressive development timelines. Russia created this situation. Sweden is responding. Challenges in timeline, 8-30-10. Developing sixth generation fighters is extraordinarily expensive. The US NGAD program faced cost concerns so severe that the Air Force paused development in 2024 for review. Each F-47 could cost $300 million, three times an F-35's price. Sweden's economy is smaller than America's. Defense budgets are tighter. Even with increased spending reaching 2% GDP, funding constraints could delay or scale back the program. Technological risks. Sixth generation technology pushes engineering boundaries. Adaptive cycle engines. Directed energy weapons. AI-driven sensor fusion. Hypersonic weapons integration. Any of these technologies could face development obstacles requiring years to solve. Sayab has never built a stealth fighter before. The Gripen is conventional fourth-generation design. Making the leap to sixth-generation low-observable platforms requires mastering entirely new manufacturing techniques, material science, and systems integration. Potential delays. The demonstrator aircraft expected around 2026 is ambitious. Full operational capability by 2035 is aggressive. Any technical setback could push timelines by years. Compared to other programs, America's F-47 aims for first flight by 2028, with operations starting 2029, and that's after decades of stealth fighter experience. Tempest and FCAS both face uncertain timelines with service entry potentially in the 2040s. Export limitations. Unlike the Gripen, which Sweden successfully exports to multiple nations, Flag System 2020 will likely remain Swedish only or shared with very close allies. The aircraft will be too expensive for most potential customers. Indigenous technology will be too sensitive to widely export. That limits production runs, driving per unit costs higher and reducing economies of scale that make programs financially viable. Sweden ended nearly 200 years of neutrality because Russia's invasion of Ukraine made clear that neutrality no longer protects anyone. NATO membership provides collective defense, but membership also requires contributions. The Flag System 2020 is Sweden's contribution to European security. A sixth-generation stealth fighter designed specifically for Baltic and Arctic operations against Russian threats. Built by Saab, the company that produced generations of innovative fighters from the Draken to the Gripen. Funded by a government that finally recognized defense spending isn't optional when facing existential threats. Flown by Swedish pilots who understand that air dominance determines whether democracies survive or fall to authoritarian aggression. The program faces challenges, high costs, technical risks, uncertain timelines, but Sweden is committed. And if they succeed, NATO gains a capability that fundamentally shifts the balance of power in Northern Europe. If you want to understand how European defense is evolving beyond American programs, subscribe now. We cover verified capabilities and strategic implications other channels miss. Drop a comment. Do you think Sweden can successfully field a sixth generation fighter by 2035? What other NATO programs should we analyze? Stay informed. Stay ready.